What's up? It's Online Dating Villain here. Now, where to meet women and where not to meet women. First off, you want to avoid the common places such as bars and clubs. Why? Because if you go to the club and the bars, you'll see this. You see this too? Yeah, that's it. To this and this. Too much C-O-C-K. Too many of them. Way too many. Too many drunk tards, especially. And then you always have a guy who always hold a beer to his chest like a beta male. Yeah. Wouldn't want to do that. So, even though there's nothing wrong with going to the bars and clubs and having a good time, I don't really recommend it. I mean... They got. They probably got like 13 different type of STDs. And when you wake up in the morning and you see their faces, it looks like a $2 crack whore. Ugh. Alright, let's go to the next slide. Now, here's a little known place where you can meet women. Meetup.com. That's meetup.com. You can search for Student Exchange Club. Or some sort of dancing club like hip hop or salsa. Or language exchange club. That's good too. Let me tell you why. When you go to a language exchange club, it's usually young woman, like an 18 year old, who came to, who's a foreign student and is learning how to speak English. One example is I went to this um, language exchange club and there's so many 18 year old Asians. I'm like, hello, little girl, how old are you? And she's like, I'm 18 years old. And I'm like, okay, I can work with that. Definitely, definitely check out meetup.com. It's free to join and um, sign up and search for your local city. Next up is some sort of conventions. It could be sex conventions, um, ethic group conventions, or hobby conventions. Um, like kind of like ethic groups, kind of like uh, black um, black pride parade. You don't have to be black to go there. Or hobby conventions like comic books. You see this girl? She is in a comic book conventions. And it's not normal to see comic books chicks who are nerdy and very sexually frustrated. Wearing bikini tops in the middle of winter. Showing off to other dorks so they can look at her body. Comic book conventions. Your type of hobby conventions. Just make sure you have... The fact is, learning how to get a girlfriend, the perfect girlfriend that knows how to cook and cleans and is good in the sack, is possible. Because pickup is a skill set. We all know that. And I'm here to help because my mission is to get one million men to get laid. Yes, one million men get their penis and one million vaginas. I'm sorry mom that I said that, but it's true. It's my passion. My website, after many people asking, do you have a website? I finally put one up. Um, if you go on the website, there's a video that would help you immensely. And what you learn in the video is the lazy man way to get a girlfriend using online dating. And I when I mean lazy, I mean like truly lazy way. I want to show you how to systematically um, send messages to women and have like a dating profile that attracts. The second thing you learn is how to have sex with eight different types of women per a month. Doesn't that sound like a sex ad of some sort? Yeah, it does. But guess what? It's true. You will learn how to do that. And what I mean by eight different types is like blacks, white, Asians, Latinos. It doesn't matter. Online dating villain loves them all. 
Third thing you learn is how to approach women and get their phone number. Like the cute girl at work, the cute girl on the college campus, or the cute girl that works at Starbucks with the red hair and the mustache. Yeah, I want to bang her too. Um, fourth thing you learn is how to get that date and then get that date and get her to become your girlfriend. I mean, dating is fine, it's cool, but what happens if you stumble upon a girl you really like? Make her your girlfriend, and I'm going to show you how to do that too. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I was drunk while making it. Anyways, this is Online Dating Villain signing out.